it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and today I'm here with a kind of slightly different video. So here I am today doing a letter to my younger self. So everyone on YouTube has done Draw My Life and I myself have done a Draw My Life on my old channel. It'll be linked either there or there, press a little I and then it'll be, um, you know, right at the bottom of the first link in the down bar. So um, yeah, this is a bit kind of... I guess personal, but it's quite nice to look back on, I guess, and maybe I'll do one in 10 years time. So, let's start off with my first point. Dear younger me, glasses are cool. You need glasses to see. Um, it's okay to wear glasses. Don't feel like you need to go without glasses because believe me, as you get older, your eyesight gradually gets worse by the time you're 21 you can't see yourself in the viewfinder. <laughs> you need your glasses. But glasses are now cool and they may not be cool when you're younger but that's because you felt like you should just pick out whatever pair your parents said. Have a bit more conviction with yourself and pick out the cool glasses. These are cool glasses. Glasses are cool. That'll come up in a future Doctor Who episode. Um, but pick your own from Specsavers. Have a bit more conviction in picking your own. Dear younger self, it's actually okay to fancy the girl in your school. There's no need to be ashamed of it. In fact, by the time you're 17, you'll have fallen in love with a girl that you kind of can't have, but then kind of can have, then kind of can't have, then there's going to be nothing in between them, but you're still going to be best friends. Yeah, that's going to happen when you're 17, so don't feel ashamed by the fact that you have these feelings towards a girl when you yourself are a girl. Because later on in life, you'll discover your sexuality and discover who you are, and it's okay to be who you are. So don't be ashamed by it, and don't keep that guilt, because with that guilt, a lot of bad things are going to come from that, and you're going to have a breakdown. Dear younger self, you will lose weight. It's going to take you a while and it's going to take you to go to university to realise that you yourself can lose weight. You just have to do it in your own way. You know, stop going to the teen fit classes. Don't put that pressure on yourself because that pressure then builds up and ends up with you breaking down and doing things you shouldn't. As long as you're happy with who you are, it's okay. You don't need to lose that weight straight away. Guys still like you. It's weird because guys seem to like the big butt and the big boobs. So it's okay, don't worry about it. Plus, you're going to discover a website called Boohoo and you're gonna have most of the collection, like you're gonna buy most of the collection and you look a bang in every single thing you own because it looks amazing because it fits your size. And just because you're a bit bigger doesn't mean you can't wear crop tops, doesn't mean you can't wear dresses and skirts and high heels and everything that you want to wear. You don't have to just live in leggings and a t-shirt. You can start to like explore with your wardrobe. Dear younger self, boys and sex, it's okay not to have had a boyfriend yet. It's okay not to have had sex by the time you're 21. It is no big deal. You're waiting for the right person. Waiting is fine. You don't f have to conform to the pressure. You know, you're going to wait for your first kiss and your first kiss is going to be pretty special because it's going to be with someone you maybe not have a romantic attachment to, but you, you know, you have an attack, you have a connection to that person. And although it's with a friend, it's still your first kiss and at least your first kiss wasn't with a stranger. And after that first kiss, you're gonna pull two really hot guys in Zante. So honestly, it is fine to wait till you're 17 to have your first kiss. And it's fine to still be standing here today not having had a relationship and had sex. It's really, honestly, as much as it's a taboo subject, it's not a bad thing. Don't feel like you have to put yourself in this pedestal that by the time you're 21 you have to have had a relationship, you have to have had sex. That isn't what happens. By the time you turn 21 you're at university, you're loving life and you're just taking each day as it comes and that's how you should be living every day of your life. And also, it's okay to say no. Never feel like you have to go through with something just for the experience. 
and you know I'm saying to this to you now because I should have said no. I realise the Taylor Swift pun is very abundant but <laughs> it's okay to say no to boys and it's okay to get upset when boys break your heart or when a girl breaks your heart, it's okay. And also, stand up for yourself. When a boy calls you a tease for leading him on, you know that you didn't lead on. It's okay to <laughs> push him aside and never go back to him. Dear younger self, you will get to university. I know you struggle with the pressure of exams and I know that you struggle with academic work and stuff but one day you're going to be standing here in your own university room at a university that you fall in love with and you're going to be doing a course that you love and you end up doing an English course that ends up becoming your best subject even though it's your not your main module. It's a side module you decided to take and end up getting nearly a first in an essay. It's okay to not do well in your exams. Just go to college for three years and those three years are going to be the best three years of your life. So don't panic. And finally, dear younger self, when you're sitting there in your room and you feel like the world is falling to pieces, it only lasts a couple of years. Yes, that depression and anxiety will stay with you for the rest of your life. And yes, at one point you're going to relapse. And yes, you're going to make a pact with yourself that by the time you're 21, but you move past that. And by the time 2013 comes along, you're having the year of your life. You turn 18. Yes, 2013 wasn't the best year, but by the time the end of 2013 rolls around, you have new friends, you're at college doing acting. You're auditioning to be on Edinburgh, an Edinburgh stage. And you're learning to be you. And you go to America for your 18th, it's pretty amazing. And then by the time you turn 21 in 2016, you find your birth family, which has hounded you for 10 years. You have a little brother who dotes on you. You end up meeting Gareth David Lloyd and Bern Gorman from Torchwood. And also you get to speak to John Bagman, like that is a real thing. And you get to go to London three times and you get to go to Manchester, you get to touch Benedict Cumberbatch's waxwork bum. By the way, you're going to become a very big fan of Sherlock and you're going to cry over Sherlock, but that's okay. And you're going to continue with this YouTube channel that, you know, is your little baby and you're going to have amazing friends and you're going to love your life. And yes, there's going to be ups and downs and bumps in the road, but it's okay. And yes, you're going to feel like the world is falling down on you every year you're going to have that moment where the world crumbles and you fall to the ground but you pick yourself back up again and you rock it and you turn 21 and you're here at university so just remember for anyone else out there that is young and feels like they don't know where their life is going by the time you turn 21 your life is going to be right on track to where you're going. Yes, there's going to be bumps in the road, but you're going to get through it. And that's the most important thing. So, oh, um, I will see you guys on Thursday with a new video. I'm doing the final Romeo and Juliet thing. Yay. So I'll see you guys on Thursday for a new video. Bye.